Secure the site before the aliens have time to regroup. Rather, I can never find my keys because my entire brain is this information. If you opened my skull up, you would just have the Wikipedia for XCOM 1 in it. Reach a big sky. Right. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. This is the worst of the two large landeds, and this is the one where the command pod is here. And the other one, the command pod's up there. But this one has the command pod here, so we can't go in here. Position confirmed. Double time. Time. Oh god, this is gonna take so long. Oh. Making the run for it. I'm on the move. Heading there now. If only it was Take like a fun mission. Yeah. You now? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> too bad, too bad. Later on in the game, I try to get the meld on these, which makes them a little bit more exciting. What was that? Yeah, I mean, that's a leading strategy, Palowart. This is the worst part of the design of XCOM, this situation right here, where I'm not engaged with the aliens and there's no time pressure on me. And... Something out there. And like, my solution to this situation is to do what I'm doing right now. And it's very unenjoyable. Some booze. I have Flight of the Concord stuck in my head right now. Sound like psychoids. So I'm gonna go kill them. Making my way there. On the mix. Affirmative, moving out. We could play this more. Moving oh. to position. Oh, really? I guess. I'm I'm to watch. Watch. In the vehicle. That's affirmative. Roger that, sir. Yeah, we can uh, we can definitely have a cyber disc, guys, and fast. We can have. We might be able to have berserkers on this. Berserkers might kill me. This composition is not particularly good against berserkers. Moving out. In fact, it. Is just terrible against berserkers. I'm rolling. I'm on the move. Understood, sir. I'm on it, Commander. Look out! Aye, aye, Commander. Got it. Scanning. Roger that. Scanning. First on. See you now. I have all of them late. Hey, do you hear anything? Moving to position. Hostile contact confirmed. OK. 
Okay, one pod dead. Oh, yeah. I'm on the move. Maybe I should have brought a. I might pull hunt mode here. I'm just gonna live with that fact. Fuck, I can't put my soldier... <laughs> my soldier is attempting to move into cover. My mech is uh, not having it. Gonna watch everyone. So landed, landed UFOs get the next month's enemies on them, Eisenfaust. Look at how many hit points that has. Remarkable. Count them, one, two. I think it was nine. I think Eisenfaust made a I'm mods command. I think it's Long War 1 mods I'm shows most of the mods that I'm using. No hands. No hands. I'm just gonna believe. Sometimes you just gotta believe. I mean, the mission's not going to be interesting unless we make it interesting, right? <laughs> Let's play with complete disregard for our safety or, you know, any semblance of intelligence. Zoom levels. Hmm. I have no idea. I sent Faust. No idea. I also have a camo mod from Nexus Mods, which is not there because it wasn't in the screenshot that I showed you. Okay, now I can stop getting that stupid audio cue, and instead I get the Outsiders, great. Vast improvement. More sectoids on the map. Understood, sir. Roger, tracking. I'm on the move. Been on the On my way. Aye, aye. Reloaded. Yeah, I'll pay for it. Cover ties for you. Yeah, I'll pay for it. Overwatch, cover. I'm pretty sure. Okay, Marco Sun. That's more like. More like, um. More like 40 left to go. Moving. I'm pretty sure this that the first a mod. Of some kind, and the potential storage capacity is enormous. If I'll let Chen have this moment. Attempting to bring in this much outside material, it can only mean they're ramping up the scale of the invasion. Pretty sure that the first mod I ever installed for XCOM 2 was a suicide vest. And I'm also certain that I have never actually built that item. Hey, do you hear anything? I have to be in a certain mood. Also, I've never been convinced that it's optimal to play. Alright. Okay. Moving to position. Robot do robot things, the rest of us will follow. Good to go. Position bestätigt. Roger that. 
I'm gonna say yes, I sent fast. Position confirmed. Moving. I don't really know. I don't know what this mod is. It was in my mods folder and I installed it. You'd have to ask Steven of like two years ago to get a real response. It looks like the same thing to me, vaguely. The melt still hasn't expired. They're really working that, hanging it out there for me. I'm on it, Commander. They gave me a position. Verstanden, Commander. Moving out. Roger that. Getting it done. Overwatch. Aye, aye. I have all the time. Overwatch. Keep your eyes on the past. Head in there now. Okay. Yes, Commander. Moving to position. Off the big. Okay. Man, look at that. I even remembered to bring eight soldiers to this mission. I'm really playing at full capacity right now. You hear that? I think eventually it will cut off my bot's message. But I don't know where. And my bot doesn't know where either, so my bot's not going to realize that your command is too long. It's just not gonna work when you actually Got it. Call it. Heading there now. I'd probably use something like Pastebin for that. And just make a text list and put a link to Pastebin in the bot command. On my way. Solid copy. They gave me a position. Moving to position. In on that X. Moving out. Moving there now, sir. So, the command pod's always in the same area of the map on these. On the plains one, it's here. On the forest E one, it's over there. There's also, on this map, basically one place with reasonable cover on the entire map, which is up. Up. There. So, that's where I'm going. Let's see if I get there. Unidentified target nearby. I'm using the fact that I'm still hearing the outsiders as the nearest contact plus the direction that I heard them in earlier to on the move. Um, moving to position to feel comfortable moving me. forward here. That's Anything another okay. dead pod. Oh, okay. well, I mean, they're still dead, but. I would have preferred not to pull them with that exact move. Be sort of greedy here and try to get corpses. Don't do it, Chrysalids. Okay. 
It's not worth it. They had the high ground there too. That was uh those touch and go there. Moving. Aye aye. And bite again. Overwatch confirmed. Got it covered. I've lost these missions in my life. I've also I've also uh, beaten them a very, very large number of times though. Let me look that up uh, nice and fast. Uh, I'm not gonna look that up right now. You can use command info. Oh smart. Yeah. Outsider pot is six, yeah. And I don't have an assault, so they're gonna be interesting to fight. Position confirmed. I can definitely see myself losing a soldier against them. Got it. Commander. Heading there now. Aye aye, Commander. Wake house. Position confirmed. Affirmative. There's a line of sight bug around here where sometimes you'll pull stuff in here as you're walking past. Um, if I lose this mission, I think there's a 25% chance that it's because a line of sight bug from here pulls three pods on me and I have no way of killing them. On it. Moving to position. On it. Moving out. Moving out. That's cool, thank you. Okay. Got I'll it. add this to my to-do list, which still has make my Steam wish list public. Okay. I lost my to-do list. I'm gonna make a new one. Make Steam wish list. I'll work out what that means. Um Longer one pods. I'll get that done someday. Still hearing the outsiders, so we should have a bit of space to move around in. I think I might have heard drones there. I don't know though. The water is sort of loud. The moment where you step up onto the UFO and the water sound goes away is one of the most impressive moments of like game design for me. It's such a tiny thing and it is so hugely impactful. It does so much to give you that sense that you're moving away from Earth onto an alien, alien thing. Did not use the Long War One mod manager. I have it. I like. I set it up in a way that worked for me, so that it only takes a few minutes for me to. Um, install things or find where they were and stuff, and it would just be more work to set that up. Ready for the but to keep doing what I have right now. Got one seeker left, two seekers left. Aye, aye. Nailed him. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Position here. Maybe it will just be Seekers, Chrysalids, and Sectoids. I'm very stubborn, Paloard, and set in my ways. Position bestätigt. Yes, Commander. 
I feel like people who play games for just way, way longer than is healthy get like that sometimes. Like I know exactly how to do the things that I know how to do and I have no desire to think about them anymore at all. Oh, I don't think your shot's going off, Brent. That's me. An emotionless machine whose only goal is to play XCOM and save the Earth. Yeah, but I just killed you, by the way. That's affirmative. Or maybe... No, no, you failed me. That's what happened. Yeah. Roger, tracking. I was relying on you to defuse the bomb, but instead you decided to get killed. Couldn't handle the pressure. But we're really like fine with you gone. It's, it's going okay still. I don't know. I'm a little bit sad. You are one of my uh, one of my favorite internet trolls. I don't believe these people saying that it was my fault. Moving to position. How would they even know? Aye aye. In bewegung. Roger that. If it was in a lot of Long War II campaigns, that is true. And every time his soldier was pretty much the same guy. It was really weird. Because I play with random classes, but... He always just became some dude who would go on stealth missions and let everybody else die and then eat him back. Oh, bitch. Okay. Roger that, sir. I uh, made you leave cover so that you could grenade and kill some thin men who I desperately needed to die. And I was relying on you hitting a bomb node the next turn, and your grenade did exactly one less than lethal to both of them. And then you got yourself shot twice and died. Despite me giving you a smoke grenade, it was uh, a sad moment. Your remains, uh, Moving out. your remains will be vaporized at Boulevard for the rest of the time. Position confirmed. That's affirmative. On it. Ich mach mich los. Will do. Transports are definitely transports. I'm rolling. In the Roger, tracking. But the problem here isn't really the transport, it's that there's no mechanic to encourage you to move quickly through a mission. I don't think we're alone out here. The meld does the job for missions which are not difficult, but heading to that location. It I'm on the move. Like once Moving it becomes a 
a small enough portion of the rewards that you're getting and the difficulty of the mission gets high enough, you can just stop thinking about the melt. And at that point, the fact is you like are just meant to play very cautiously and carefully. They are still more fun than base assaults, that's true. Okay. I like to... I put that on my resume. More fun than a base assault. Aye, aye, Commander. That's how I get invited to parties. I think I heard something. Are they patrolling? Did we find a pod that's patrolling? That would be exciting. Did we? Man, hey, you hear anything? So there's a thin man pod that's patrolling. Moving out. I'm on the move. Or this. Well, no, the thin man pod must be patrolling. Yeah. I think. The I think that the way that Long War 2 approaches this with green and yellow alert jobs is actually really, really good. Instead of having the pods just randomly move around, you have the pods slowly work out that XCOM is here and where XCOM is, and then just try to maneuver to attack XCOM. So that if I'm just doing this on Overwatch, eventually I'm going to get surrounded by four pods at once and they're going to all be attacking me. Like I'm actually encouraged to move and fight dynamically. Is there now. New target acquired. <sighs> anyway. That's my shilling for the day. Should go back again. That was the most dangerous move of the mission so far. If I pull another pod there, and there is a Thin Man pod behind me, we maybe managed to like take wounds. That was a pretty dangerous move too. As repugnant as the thought may be, this is most likely how they keep their latest test subjects alive. Fascinating. On Overwatch. On Overwatch. In the Heading there now. So I'm gonna stand here for a while. And every turn we have to make sure there isn't a sectoid coming to this tile. Know where he went. I have this How many rookies have died between 1.2 and 1.3? I used to sort of keep track of the Steam participation numbers for Long War 2, but I haven't looked at them for a while. Still up. The aliens are going hunt mode? Are they? Did we do that? Whoops. That's unfortunate. How many pods does this pull then? I don't see any pods. I don't think they do go hunt mode from me doing that because they're not, um, they're not far enough away. I don't think it matters that they can't see me. It's based on proximity, I'm pretty sure.
I'm on it, Commander. There was a guy on Overwatch right there. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Scanner. I like have a motion tracker. Scanner. I should probably turn that on next turn. I field commander. Got it covered. What was that? Sectoid, my finest moment. Position confirmed. I'm on the move. X ray new. Hostile targets are retreating. Don't leave. So if this pulls a Thin Man pod on the right, how screwed am I? Probably more screwed than is necessary. That's yeah, I don't think there's much reason to screw myself here. At some point, it's just time. I'm here to claim my UFO. Moving to position. Kneel before me. Moving to Overwatch. Good to go. Look out. My loving my subjects. Way. Overwatch. Aye, aye. So Not far, we good. have fought 16 enemies, and zero of them has been like threatening in Not any bad. way. Roger that. I look forward to this thin man pod. What the hell was that? We have to just wait a really long time again On now. Moving. Defensive position here. Rock and roll. I'm on it. Jenna. Moving to Overwatch. What was that sound? A 50 turn time limit sounds pretty reasonable to me. Oh. 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 Okay. Rude. been too long since I last called something rude. Maybe I should have hollow targeted him first. There. In the Affirmative. When I become extremely wealthy, I'm going to hire the voice actor for Van Dorn. Yeah, no. And I'm going to make him just say a bunch of rest lines and then replace Overwatch. all of Van Dorn's voiceovers in the game with rest lines. Or maybe Bradford. I don't know. One of the two. Let's patch you up, sir. Moving out. I just feel like that would be so much oh, more way. relevant it, if like you're on a bomb mission and there's one turn left In before the, the bomb explodes. Bradford actor just comes over the comms. Overwatch. If you fail, your computer explodes and JL laughs into an envelope. 
<laughs> Express mail <laughs> situation. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't think we're alone. Got another here. silent ping. Another seeker pod, quite likely. The worst part about these missions, and I know that every single one of you wants me to fail, right? It's just like I'm on it, Commander. It's so much more fun on my way. to watch this campaign if I move. fail a mission like this. Getting it done. There's okay. nothing enjoyable about watching this campaign and me winning this mission. There's a reason that when Beagle beat this mission, the thing that came out of it was everyone remembering the soldier who died. You just want me to struggle? That's nice of you. You guys are the nicest viewers. could deliberately leave these doors closed so that we can use the room against the outsider pod later, but nah, nah too much work. I'm gonna alpha strike the, the dudes. You wanna see, you wanna see the nerd stuff? I was thinking about putting the nerd stuff up for the strategic layer stuff and leaving it turned off for the tactical play maybe. Heading there now. Okay. And trees and training roulette. You know, I think it's really interesting how strong the branding of the perk tree is in these games. And I think that the idea that hidden trees with training roulette is enjoyable. Is like such a great example of that. There's nothing enjoyable about playing the game in that way, like in my actual experience of doing it. But it sounds like it would be really fun, right? Because like the perk trees are different. But my actual experience of playing the game, like the perk trees don't matter. That's not the point. The perk trees just make my soldiers a certain way, and then it's really fun to play with those soldiers. So if I play training roulette, um, hidden trees. Then, like, my soldiers just do random things and the game stops being fun. The problem with doing it strategic layer only is that I stream the game at native resolution, right? Like, I'm I'm looking at a, a window that is 1920 by 1080 and I'm streaming in 1920 by 1080. So if I do that in the strategic layer, I'm relying on my broadcasting software. What the fuck? That door is open. I am relying on my broadcasting software to resize the game for me. Which is going to mean that the strategic layer will look a little bit worse. It's not a huge deal though, I guess. Hey, you hear anything? Shh. I think I heard something. Are you okay, Bowie? What is that sound? I don't know, Moving man. I have to turn this ship I around. Position confirmed. Heading out. That's affirmative. These are very, very difficult tiles to move to, apparently. They gave me your position. Headed there now. Moving. Getting it done. Break a house. Off the big. On it. Dodger. 
Who is in charge of that? Somebody was in charge of that. On the move. Somebody made a, made a mistake several years ago, which I am still suffering because of to this day. What was that? That sounds like a Thin Man pod. It sounds like a Thin Man pod right over here. Oh yeah, that sounds like a Thin Man pod. Uh, I don't want to use my motion tracker. Moving out. Hostile spotted. Use a rocket, I guess. Get locked. Aye, Commander. Oh, brass. <laughs> oh, brass. Ah, uh, give him the shoddy. I'm gonna callously disregard the idea that the Thin Men might be alive still at the end of this turn. Callous disregard. Headed there now. Targeting that position. Roger that. Nailed him. Thank you for hitting that, Bruss. Roger that. Oh. Position bestätigt. And David's got one for us. Thanks, guys. Good work. Good work. Laws all around. Affirmative, Commander. I'm sort of loading weapons. Headed there now. Ready to rock. I'm sort of okay aye, aye, about the flight computers. I'm now. over it. That might I'm be the it, only Commander. relevant pod on this map. Affirmative. In Bewegung. Can this be as little as Looking like for. 32, 36 enemies? Money dead. I think there are gonna be like two more pods, one of which is a sectoid pod, and one of which is a seeker pod, I'm pretty sure. And then we're done already. You hear that? Position confirmed. Well yes, the outsiders, yes. Yes, technically yes. Heading out. That's affirmative. Already there. The outsiders mean you no harm, though. They just want to stand still and then get shot by rockets. That's their uh, main occupation. On Overwatch. Eyes peeled, Commander. Watching. Ich kümmere mich drum. The second pod, like there, I guess. I've got my eyes on. Overwatch, aye aye. I'm on it. What was that? I think there's a seeker pod right there. Okay, I was wrong. Yeah, I wasn't very wrong. Not 
I'm on it, Commander. Got him. Rest with another one. Man is out of control. Solid copy. Heading there now. Position bestätigt. Moving. Got it covered. Got it covered. Moving to the watch. Should move away from that doorway with the rocketeer, probably. Huh, it's not a rocket here. Because you only have two, like, I only have two headphones, right? Like, I'm listening to the game sound in stereo, so there are two directions that it can come from. You know what stereo means? Um, Let's do this. depending on how I position my camera between turns, the audio cues can actually tell me more stuff. Like when I heard these sectoids walking on ground, it was coming out of my left headphone, despite the fact that my camera angle is like this, which means that I know that they were past this line. Anyway, this is a thing that I... There's actually secrets out of here. I'm on my way. This is a thing that I have spent my life learning instead of curing cancer. Or uh or various other things that I could have done maybe. I'm getting really confused by this sectoid patrol pattern now. Hey, do I have my headphones on backwards? <laughs> no. <laughs> Moving to position. I've used those tiles to do that before. I was better at it than the Seeker, though. Yeah, they're like all the way over here somehow. Well, they were to the right side of that line, I guess, but in a slightly different way from how I thought. Affirmative, Commander. Locked and oh, we so could have gotten that meld. On my way. That's affirmative. Getting it done. They don't have eggs. Okay. Heading there now. Got it covered. Yeah. I'm watching. I need some sectoids that I may slay them. I don't think we're alone out here. Taking cover behind the UFO power source is a time honored tradition. Here at uh, Joan Ribs plays XCOM. I think this is how I last had a soldier die to a seeker. Headed there now. Contact. That was cute. Uh have a blast. Have a blast. Okay, I killed the segboid pod. Headed there now. That was a close one. I think that I think that that's it. I think it's just outsiders now. That was the easiest pod distribution that I've ever had on one of these. Heading out. No cyber discs, no mechtoids, no berserkers, no mutons, no floaters. Oh my god. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Verstand. Roger that. Scanning. Overwatch. Aye, aye. I should have used the other rockets here. 
Yeah, I'm just hearing the outsiders now. All right. I'm on it, Commander. They don't have eggs. I'm on it, Commander. Yes, Commander. I'm on it, Commander. Next one has to fire backwards to compensate. There you go. Compensation achieved. Affirmative. When I lose this because I don't have a shredder rocket, it's on you, Ice and Fast. On the move. I'm on the move. Like a four. Rolling out. I'm on the move. Moving to the front of the ship. Quiet. Did you hear something? Yeah, I gotta Moving. gotta change the random seed there. Uh, they can be outside the UFO, actually. They might be. Roger That'd be that, so sir. lame. I'd have to run Not so big. far. Oh. Solid copy, Commander. Okay. I hope that doesn't happen. Affirmative, moving out. Shall we play? Shall we play smart? I have a motion tracker, right? I have two charges. Okay. There should be no reason at all for us to walk into an outsider pod outside of that door with two more motion tracker charges. Position confirmed. They're on my meld can. Also, they're totally just outside this door. Where do I shoot my rocket from? Rolling out. What was that sound? Will do. Getting it done. What was that sound? Okay, I'm going to... Oh, mechs can't climb. I'm gonna go on an adventure with my medic. And... my gunner. What if there's like another seeker pod though? Orders confirmed, moving out. There isn't, right? I'm, pr I'm pretty sure we're okay. I've run into seeker Roger pods in Roger. situations like this before. I'm pretty sure we're okay. There's something out there. Moving to designated coordinates. Eight fish up. Position confirmed. I've never seen them actually be on the roof Stop. here. Moving. 
Position confirmed. Okay. So we're gonna take our time here. Look out. Killing this pod well is somewhat important. I've gotta work out exactly where all six of them are and know like can we get people on this side of the store, for example, by coming in through here? That would make it pretty easy to kill them at close range. Can we put a Rocketeer here or something in steady to shoot? Do we need to use this Rocketeer? Solid copy. Are they going to somehow get vision of me while I stand up here? One, two. Okay, so it looks like there are two outside. That's another right, three. Or is that just a tile we can't get to? Maybe that's just a tile we can't get to. Solid copy. Yeah, that's irritating. There's no really easy way to position against them. I can put a second Rocketeer on, I guess, this door. I guess I have to start with a regular rocket on all six of them. And their vision is one, two, three, four, five. Am I standing directly above one? I'm standing one to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Something like there. I'm rolling. Wonder if this tile works. Tile scanning like a dirty cheater. Here's the thing. The motion tracker tells me which tiles they're on if I understand its interface. But because I'm not like supernatural, I can't read its interface. I'm on the move. And so I'm pretty okay with tile scanning to make up for that. There's the rocket. Okay, so that's what we're starting with. I want this rocketeer. Let's do this. This door over here. Time put to the motor. infantry on that door too. I'm gonna put both snipers oh, on, on this side. Gates. Um, with the mech, sure. Location confirmed. My gunner is going to come to this side. To here? I don't know. I don't know what my gunner's doing. Solid copy, Commander. Let's put her there. Getting it done. Out. This isn't uh I was being appropriately sardonic back to you. Aloha snack bar. Uh I'm, on it, I'm a salty salty man about tile scanning in these games. Yeah, this isn't exactly safe. We can easily have things go wrong here. Time to motor. Move order confirmed. Pulling ass. Roger Dodger. Yeah, that was 
Draxen is the end us. What is this lady doing? I don't know where she goes. I really don't know where she goes. She doesn't have a good place. This door? Oh, we can get to that door. Can we? Yeah, we can. We can get to... Can we get to... I'm not sure we can get to it with a mech. Heading there now. No, I don't see why not. On my way. Okay. Loud and clear, Commander. Ten four. Roger, tracking. Now. He's looking forward to me pulling six outsiders with this move and then just being completely screwed. I'm looking forward to it. Heading to that location. Alright, secret agent mech is in position. That would be a shame, Palord. Press is a noble gentleman. And I would wish no ill upon him. In bewegung. Double time. Pull an ass. If the pod spawned through a wall, I am going to pull badly. I don't know what that means. The pod did spawn through a wall, but I think I'm gonna pull okay. I can't press left click anymore. Got it, moving. Unlucky. <laughs> Unlucky. Uh is confirmed, moving out. Usually one of my more used inputs when playing out. video games. But yeah, we can't press left click because we might accidentally left click bug open a door. On Overwatch. I'm watching. Confirmed. Closing on target position now. On it. I think next turn we're going. Steady, steady, steady. We're good. You go here. Double time. The rocketeer on the roof. Yeah, that's where I'm shooting my initiation rocket from. Scanning. Hopefully not too many of them go forward. Bang! Going hot. Got something over here. Six outsiders are active. Yup, that's what happens when you surround them. I'm on the move. Wait, where'd the rest of them go? They're in here? Battle rifle not steadied? Oh my god, AFK. Wow. Did he 
claimed he was good at XCOM. I'm sorry I let you guys down like that. This seems unnecessarily Going perfect. I can't see how much it did. Okay, these guys need a tickle. Did I not have an officer here? I don't have an officer on this mission. Uh, interesting. With the flamethrower. On you. This might burn a little. Shoot you. Oh fuck. Still up. Battle rifle not steadied. The fatal mistake. A slight error. Yeah, that's actually pretty bad. So... I would like you to die. I have three guys left. Fuck me. Roger that. I would like you to die. Still like you to die. Like mm. Okay. Let's see what happens. What was that sound? Outsiders don't like attacking you unless they are in cover. So, yeah, that's what happened. Heading there now. Solid copy. Moving to target location. Wait, they have so many hit points. What is this bullshit? This is shredded. Wow, that was a really bad move. Oh, but they're flanked. Okay, it's probably fine still. In Bewegung. Verstanden. Eyes on the prize. I think they just keep Got running him. away here. Find find out soon enough in hopefully the least unpleasant way possible. Time to motor. I was okay with that. Yeah, they really, really don't like being flanked. Yes, Commander. Moving to designated quarters. Okay. Roger, Dodger. I'm on it, Commander. Got it. Moving. Look out! Aye, aye. Good to go. Ready to engage. <laughs> Just 
standing right there at the moment. At the mo. Uh. Heading out. What could go wrong? <laughs> oh my god, we did it. Uh, we're still fine, fortunately. <laughs> that was what could go wrong. I think it's still worth shooting the rocket. If I shred the outsider, I can I move the Shogun down and kill him. He's gonna shoot me, isn't he? I'll take it fire. Thank you for missing. Yeah, I played that wrong. Okay. And we'll call that a flawless landed transport. Shredded, not stirred. Roger, tracking. Not sure what I could have done to save my position there. I was meant to just move backwards from it. But after I shot the rocket, I was stuck on the door. So I guess I just wasn't meant to shoot the rocket. I That's not... That's not surprising. 13 days for Wraiths. Uh, that's a... Did she get wounded? Don't remember that happening. I think that's just a bad exhaust. But why did I exhaust her? Oh, because I wanted to bring medkits. Fair enough. We can repair servos here. This is such a powerful perk. It's not even like necessarily a powerful perk for long missions. It's like even on a mission with only three turns where things matter or whatever, you're able to heal up six hit points. So on the last turn, you're an entire shot further away from getting wounded on the mission. Yeah, I don't know. If a perk said like plus 10 hit points, I'm pretty sure that everybody would recognize that that was a super strong perk, and that's what Repair Servos does in the situations where you need it to. Plus two damage on rockets. Plus two damage on rockets. 106 Illyrium, 82 allies. Alloys, alloys. Two meld, so we can mech another soldier now. 16 weapon fragments, 8 stasis tanks, we blew up some stuff, 4 power sources though. We're, we're super, 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 super rich. Okay. Man, everybody cares so much about the Shogun's aim progression, and I've like never, ever found it to be problematic. Maybe it's because I go for the plus aim off continent bonus officers. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in today. I'm going to call it a little bit earlier than usual. Caitlin's going to get home pretty soon, and she's been away all weekend, so I want to be able to say hi to her. And also, I'm exhausted from that mission. Uh, do check out my review of Bigorosh's second week of Thursday Night XCOM. It was a lot of fun to make, and I'm really enjoying his series. And check him out on Thursday nights, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I usually stream beforehand and host them. What else? Thanks to all the new followers. Thank you to um, all the new YouTube subscribers as well. Thanks again to my patrons on 
Patreon. Patreon, that's what it's called. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. And I will see you tomorrow. Same time, same place, same game. Should be fun. Good night, guys.